So today I wanted to talk about my new original Bigfoot, which sounds quite funny. But um, up to now I have been using the original Darning Foot on this machine. But I've found that it, it's a bit awkward for some things, so I wanted a much more vertical type foot of this sort of style. And I know um, Christopher Naiman had tried one from China that didn't fit. Um, I've ordered a different one from China to see if maybe it did, but in the meantime I've ordered this American one, um, which, though not cheap, I think is actually quite good. So I thought I'd just show you um, how it fits and goes on, and I'll show you a bit of it in action. So the first thing is just whichever foot you have, whichever you can have your straight stitch plate or your um, zigzag plate, that doesn't matter, but have it down initially just to make it easier to fit it on. It fits on like that where you slide it over the end of the shank and this sits on top, the little handle sits on top, so it's actually quite nice to fit. You don't even have to unscrew it if you want because it's designed very well, so I give it lots of points for that. If you just take off your normal foot and leave it like that, you can tip that on, slide it up, and once it connects, you screw it on, and it's in firmly in place. So that's super easy. So then you can see when you drop it, it goes down. Now what I like about this is it's spring-loaded with a fair amount of pressure, which is really important on this particular machine, so that you don't drop stitches. So, because what I've found, this machine is a bit more temp temperamental sometimes if the fabric is not held really tight. So the next thing is you want to raise the foot a bit to the middle position. So you, or you raise the feed dog plate, sorry, so that it's, it's disengaged, hiding, covering the um, feed dogs. And then you're in a position to um, slide your fabric underneath. So what you can see immediately, and I've got this on the treadle at the moment. So the first thing is there's a good amount of height under here, which is nice. And then when you put it down, it's definitely resting just on the fabric. So you can slide it a bit. So it's but it's holding it, and you can see it hopping a bit. So it's doing what it's supposed to do so you can move. So that's at two layers of very thin cotton. So if you've got um, a lot of padding and stuff, it will definitely hold it down secure. So I'll give you a little bit of that. Mm-hmm. 